Right, so I'm currently at VRS in Northampton and we've got the golf bar here and today we're going to do an update video because naturally with a big project like this you, you get hurdles, you get problems. So unfortunately, mate, so the you may need an engine and the gearbox. <laughs> and uh, it could all costs a lot of bloody money. So we've got Will behind me here in the background. I'm just here introducing the video and we're going to yeah, let, pass you over to Will shortly, do a little cinematic scene of the car and explain where we're at with the golf bar. Just quickly before we get on with this video, I'm going to be giving away £4,000 in the month of June to celebrate my car event, which is at the end of June. Yep, that's right. I'm going to be giving away £1,000 this Friday on Planet Dreams, then another £1,000 next Friday on Planet Dreams, then another £1,000 the following Friday, and then the fourth and final £1,000 is going to be given away at my car event in Northampton, CCD, the event 2022. But that fourth and final £1,000 is only going to be available to those who have a ticket for the event. So if you want to come along to the car event, I'll put a link to it in the description below. I'll see you then. Right, so Will, we are back with another video, another video on the Golf R. We've actually, like, it, over the years, we've done a crazy amount of content on this car, haven't we? Well, it's been around a bit, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's been around a bit, yeah. it certainly has. Um, so the purpose of this video is we're trying to update everyone as best we can with what we're doing. Where we're at now. Where we're at now. Yeah, what we've done. So I think we did a video before with you about the gearbox. Yeah. That's now attached to the engine. Obviously, the engine's back in the bay. Of course, because that's where we were at before. You was doing the clutch packs. The clutch packs and uh, repairing the front of the mechatronics where it had the impact uh, from the accident through the tin here. Yeah. This is a brand new tin. Obviously, oh, so, okay. There. So that's it there, yeah? So your new mech covers on there, new clutch packs in, all shimmed up. And um, we've now got, obviously, the engine's bolted in the bay. Uh, we replaced, this rad was spent, which has been replaced. Okay. And uh, we're waiting for some, this is a second hand one that uh, we had here. We've got some new uh, air ducts and things um, knocking about somewhere in the workshop for that side. Okay. Um, we've got a new bracket. This side was completely ripped off and bent, as was the coolant bottle. It's not the coolant bottle, the washer bottle. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got all new bracketry for that. And we've got another rad, like we have that side, to go in there. Uh, new aircon pipe, because that had been torn off. Uh, all this boost pipe, we've gone back to the original. It had a, uh, like a metal, um, aftermarket one mm -hmm. but these fit much nicer and there's not much gain from it if anything okay. at all so okay. we've gone back to that yeah uh, as this pipe as well uh, the same bloody hell so and um, the turbo's on the car obviously on the engine that's all done mate i'm so happy to see a turbo so, on the car like that's just it's just a yeah, step it's, closer isn't it it's just exactly getting everything's there. just just got a little bit further so um, next job is there's a few wiring plugs that are broken mm -hmm. from obviously things been torn off. So um, it's not broke the loom; it's just the the, uh, the clips and things the on plugs, the plugs. Yeah. So we've got a load of new plugs to put on everything, and we've got a new alternator loom to go on um, uh, on the car. That's going to go on because what happens is the alternator loom attaches to the map sensor in the aircom. Okay. And because the map sensor pipe had been squashed under the engine, it had tore. They just ripped the loom and it had pulled it. Pulled it with it. So it couldn't be repaired. So um, that's that's coming. And obviously a new loom for the washer bottle as well. Because as you can see, it's just tore, tore up the plug off, etc. Yeah, yeah. And bits. So, but we've got a new loom for there. I've cut that bit off, but it just ripped it all out. So that's, I think that's all coming mm -hmm. um, in the next few days. That's, looms tend to be on back order. So we have to wait and I can't really put... It's a lot easier to put the loom in first and everything else, because yeah. rather than struggling afterwards to try and fit the loom. So that's where we're at with the engine. Um, I've got a couple of water pipes that, um, again, were squashed. I've found some second-hand ones of those that are perfectly good. Uh, if I've got some off like a nearly new engine, so um, I'm going to put all those on today. So this car will be ready for the battery tray and the battery to go in. Then I can set the actuator voltage, because obviously the turbo's been off checked so we have to reset the actuator voltage to be the correct setting when we refit the turbo so i can do that then so that's can... a fully reconditioned turbo yeah no all we've done is just put the exhaust housing um in the in the kiln and, and heat so it looks like new okay uh, it and it's all been checked but, yeah, you've sent it off to the turbo turbo have, have serviced it and cleaned it all up so Wicked. but we knew that obviously we were checking it because of the damaged engine there was nothing wrong with it just in case but we've just made it look new Wicked. because it's, it's nice it looks, yeah, it looks brand new 
Cool. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll finish everything. We'll get the engine bay clean afterwards. Um, but ultimately, everything's in there now um, that needs to be in there for, at this point. We've got some new, I've got a new bottom wheel arch on here. It's had some. I noticed that. They're, they're, yeah, brand new, aren't they? These are all done. So you've obviously got the preps Mate. that you bought. And now it's got Club Sport S front discs and brake pads. It's a taller caliper off this side, so we managed to get a pair of calipers. Yeah. The other side was damaged as well. So Look at that. A pair of calipers on. These will clean up once. Yeah, so they'll be fine. But we've got brand new Club Sport S, you say? Club, Club Sport, Sport S, S discs. discs and pads. Discs and pads. Yeah, so, so that's going to stop better than a normal Golf R now? It will do, yeah. It's, they do a performance pack kit for a Golf R, the 7.5s. Okay. And it's the same, same difference. Same set, yeah. okay. Um, it's had an, uh, a new damper this side, and we're putting a set of APR um, spring, low end springs on. Uh, so we managed to get a set of those. It's having an h &R rear roll bar. Because the, the bottom arms were obviously damaged, we've put a, a pair of new, but well, a pair of um, good second-hand blower arms on with new Super Pro uh, caster, uh, extra caster bushes, so it'll give the car um, uh, better handling, basically. Further right. Yeah, so it'd be better than it was when you had yeah, it because yeah. it was standard everything. Before. Everything was standard. So yeah. the springs are up, uprated. The uh, front roll bar staying the same, mm -hmm. and we're replacing well, the roll bar's not there, so we're putting a. Uh, new roll bar and uh, new link rods on, but a standard one because these tend when you put a big roll bar on the front, they can understeer a bit. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep that standard and leave better, better, bigger H and R rear roll bar on so it. So all these bits are not the things that really I should have done when I had it before. It never really bothered me, but I'll no. notice an improvement. Yeah, I mean the car's going to be loads better now. You've got so brakes, suspension, it'll, it'll even happen. the upgraded wheels. You know, just loads of little it'll just things. Just ride nicer. It's going to be a better car. Better. Yeah, it will be. A lot it's better, a shame it's category. I know I keep saying it. It's a shame it's a category car, but at least we know that you've gone to town. It's pretty car. superficial, and then the engine damage. I know there was a little bit of work, obviously, um, underneath what Daz has done, but we no, we've but we just looked over the pictures amount. again ourselves, yeah. didn't we? And the damage weren't actually that bad. And I think no. this is the thing with categorised cars because it took a hit on that corner the, there. The reason they categorised it like they did is because it took the bottom clean off the engine, yeah, and it's obviously yeah, glanced, yeah, yeah. glanced the subframe. So, um, but all that's all that's been replaced. We've got new, so the uh, the uh, plastic floor trays underneath the floors. Well, where it's gone over the, you know, whatever, whatever it's gone it's over, hit, yeah. it's cracked those. So they've been replaced. The heat shield in the tunnel, mm -hmm. uh, second-hand prop shaft in there. Um, that's been, uh, that's been, well, that's not been. It's going on. Okay. Um, and then, and then that's it basically. Lovely so nice. that's where we're at now. Obviously, um, it's whatever day it is today. Well, we're currently at the end of May, yeah? Yeah, so... It's actually 26th of May today, or So obviously. in a week's time, a week, maybe 10 days, a week on Saturday, yeah. this will be ready for you to collect. So, so. the plan is, I, so it's 26th of May today, and I want to drive, my car event is on... So yeah, it's 26th of May today, so my car event is on the 26th of June, so exactly a month from today, obviously by the time this video goes live, we would have moved on a bit from there. But yeah, we're all saying that we're tr we want to hope to get this car complete next week. It's going to need some sort of running in checks as well, isn't it? Yeah, before you need to just drive it for a few days just to see how it is. Yeah, but I want to arrive at my car event in this car. Obviously, this, is, this car is a bloody hero, the hero of my channel, isn't it? So yeah. I want to arrive at the car event. Obviously, if you haven't bought yourself a ticket, by the way, you need to hit the link in the description below. Come along, Will's going to be there as well. Yeah, what I'll be there, yep. What car are you going to be bringing, Will? I don't know. Maybe it's a good M3 question. or something. You're going to have to bring one of my cars. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you might have to, you might have to. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to bring this. Do you know, I don't want to give too much away. The G-Wiz, the S3, the, yeah, the, the S3. project car S3. That's, that. that's for the Planet of Dreams. Um, the Audi A5, which is also for Planet of Dreams, which Will hasn't seen yet. He's just <laughs> yeah, 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 the multicolored thing. And uh, what else? Oh, the M3 Touring. We're going to bring that along as well, which is on the ramp in the back there. M5. We might bring the M5, the yeah. Shred M5. Everyone keeps asking about that. We need to do an update video on that, but um, <laughs> we'll just bring it along to the show and let everyone see it. Ah, oh, there is another car, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, so the plan is obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I plan to daily drive it. I don't currently have my daily yeah, drive. It'd be fine for daily driving. Yeah. I've daily driven it before. I love this car a lot. I just, yeah, I, I always loved it before, and it's now better than, well, it will be better than it's ever It will been. be better than it was, 100%, yeah. The, the main damage is really was the engine and the gearbox, wasn't it? Yeah. So the sh this is like the main chassis leg, just, uh, chassis leg the chassis leg here. Chassis leg's untouched, yeah. It's fine, isn't it? Yeah, chassis legs all untouched. The wing was obviously damaged. The rear end has seen a bit of it's damage. A, the as well. wheel had punched the wing up, so it had gone like that. Yeah. And then obviously it broke the wheel. So I think the main impact was engine and wheel. 
yeah. and it had missed the rest of it and just broke all the plastic bits because that's what happens, that's what they're there for, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, but the underneath of the car looks really good. Oh, that's wicked. Yeah. Cool. So I was surprised. Mate, I didn't I'm, think it would in the picture, and I was very sceptical. So oh, I'm going to put this on a ramp, and it's just going to be, be absolutely mulled under there. Horrific, yeah. And I looked at it. Like, <laughs> but the funny thing is, I say this all the time with categorised cars: is you just don't know what you're letting yourself in for. Like it looked, didn't look too bad. The damage weren't too bad, but the cost of it. It's a lot of bits. It's lot cost of, a lot of bloody yeah, money, yeah, isn't it? It's a lot, there's a lot, a lot of bits. It's just like aircon pipes, aircon rad radiators front panel you know all the plastic because all these cars have that many plastic ducts and clips and some of them are like three or four quid each and some are 30 quid each and when you need four or five of each and it all trays, adds up yeah it does it? yeah, yeah the yeah. new engine the gearbox was all right wasn't it but we've just replaced it yeah the the luckily i think they just where it tapped that in the front um it looked all right so i'm i'm quite confident that it'll be it'll be a really good car afterwards wicked oh, i'm looking forward to it i can't wait to drive it again yeah all right, so we'll look to maybe come back in the next couple of weeks with a further update video, maybe. Yeah, I think next week. Hopefully, we'll get, yeah, get it, get it, get it ready for you and get it running. Yeah, wicked. All right, cheers, Will. Thanks, mate. So yeah, that is the update of the Golfer. I want to update everyone as long, as much as I possibly can because people I see comments all the time. Kevin, what's going on with the Golfer? Is the Golfer nearly done? And I just want to keep updating you as best as I can. Uh, the steering wheel, by the way, if you notice the steering wheel in the cinematics, that is not the steering wheel for this car. The actual wheel has gone off in the post to control customs. I want a super fresh wheel on this car. That's going to be back soon as well. Uh, but yeah, my car event, obviously, it's going to be a wicked day out. CCD, the event 2022. I've done it last year uh, in 2021. It was a brilliant turnout. The weather was amazing. And it was just, yeah, it was a great day all, all around for everyone. So if you have not yet bought yourself a ticket, I'll put a link in the description below. It's so Sunday the 26th of June and it's in Northampton at a place called Findon all right so yeah uh, I think that is everything I think that is everything we're going to be filming an update on the Audi S3 today as well so look out for that video I'll put links for Will uh, VRS to his Instagram and his website in the description below thank you very much for watching I hope you liked this video if you did like it hit like hit subscribe if you're new and if you're on TikTok I'm on TikTok now by the way give me a follow on TikTok uh, at Cowman's Car Diary and I'll see you in the next video bye